Good morning, students. Uh, welcome to Math Trick. Today, I'm going to um, draw the Venn diagram and show you when you have instruction given how to shade the region. And this is not the regular way. It's just a, some kind of math trick I'm going to teach you today. Okay. Let's say I have this um, uh, Venn diagram uh, drawn. It's a rectangular box with universal set and two overlapping circle are given A and B and the question is saying shade A prime union B prime all right sometimes it's a little tough a little confusing so what I'm gonna do in the math trick I'm gonna use De Morgan's law okay De Morgan's law states that if I have a prime union B prime that's actually equals to a intersecting B whole prime that's the first law and another law we're gonna use a prime intersecting B prime that's equals to a union B whole prime so this one I can use this first one a intersecting B whole prime now I know what is a intersecting B a intersecting B is only this part over here okay so when a intersecting B whole prime then actually I'm looking at this particular region okay this particular region I'm gonna just avoid that region there okay so that's that if you if you're not sure I'm gonna just uh, wh which one we don't want to shade I'm gonna just shade it in green okay this part okay so that's rated red uh, colored that stripe that's our a intersecting B whole prime see this is easier this way but if you have anything like this I'm gonna use the second rule uh, again universal set and then I have two overlapping circles a and b and this time it says a prime intersecting b prime again we're going to use de morgan's law and we're going to say a union b whole prime we know a union b so a union b except these two regions okay and overlapping regions everything else so i'm just gonna shade that in red okay so that this is pretty understandable so I don't need to shade this one in green okay in the question don't shade both of them okay just this red stripe region okay or you can draw a little bigger okay so this is the one or I'm just gonna show that so I can avoid the any confusion here if I draw it a little bigger a and B so this shaded region might maybe gonna go this way make it a little bigger to avoid any confusion okay so this de morgan's law is very helpful to solve maths like that okay i'll show you how to use the number to shade the instructed region in the next video thank you have a good day